for people who just want to talk. to work. We are so congested. Our population is growing so rapidly. Our infrastructure cannot cope. Greedy private capital is filling our country with as many cheap immigrants as possible. Why? Because they'll live in smaller spaces, they'll work for less, they won't think and they won't complain. You think too much. You think for yourselves. You think for your families. You demand a higher state of living. And that is against their interests. That's why this crime, whether it's violent crime, terrorism, whatever comes from these immigrants, you're not supposed to talk about it. Because these immigrants are the perfect global citizens. Bullshit. They're here to replace you. You know it as well as I do. 100%. 100%. But it's all boiled down to this. This now is the beginning of a great movement against this corruption. We won't stand for it anymore. <laughs> we know who is responsible. It's not the Africans on the streets. It's the government! It's not the African community leaders. It's the government! And it's not the Muslims. It's this corrupt media government alliance, and it has been from the beginning. They call me a racist neo-Nazi terror threat because of the words I speak to you now. But what have I done from the beginning but speak? The truth will set us free. Rage against the machine. You do what I told you. They will do anything they can to divide you. They will say anything about me they can to make you waver, to make you lose faith. They will say to you, be Christian or be atheist. Be left wing or be right wing. Be socialist or nationalist or something else. But you only are one thing, the one thing that unites you all, Australian! So to the State Premier, Daniel 
my entrance. Fuck it! Stop it! The so-called people's representative, does he represent you? No! no. We want answers, and we want them now. Yeah. Yeah. How did these immigrants, these African men, fighting aged men, how did they get here? Who signed off on it? We want names. If we don't get names, then we will hold you responsible, Premier. And why are they here? Tell us the truth. If we don't get the truth, expect more rallies, bigger numbers, again and again. If we have to, we will march on that city yes. and we will take it over. Yeah. Do it! We are the workers. We built this country. We come from the people who conceived of Australia, who gave their lives for it, who sacrificed everything to build it, to protect it. And we must honour the people who work so hard to give us this great country. It is our duty as Australians. And I know you will stand with me when I say that we are prepared now to give everything, every ounce of our energy, every atom of our being for our country. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie! Aussie, Aussie, Aussie! Aussie, Aussie. Thanks very much for coming, I really appreciate it. I don't want to take too long, because I don't want to inconvenience the police. <laughs> Let's understand. They're getting double time. <laughs> Let's understand. These police officers with their boots on the ground, these guys over here, they're our people too. These individuals, they're our people too. It's not these guys that are the problem, it's their command. It's where they get their orders. The same people who give the police their orders are the same people who write the news. They're the same people who write the education curriculum, who tell your children what to think. The same people who force immigration onto our country. And then as soon as we start saying, hang on, what's going on with all this crime and terror? Shut up, you racist. These people give the police their orders. They're just following those orders, but eventually I know, just as in France, just as in Belgium, just as all throughout Europe right now with the Yellow Vest protests, these guys, those of them with a heart, with a national soul will stand with us. Yeah. This workers' revolution is taking place all throughout the world. And this is only the beginning. In Europe, Macron is in hiding. The president of Belgium has resigned. The people are sick and tired of being taken for a ride. So I really appreciate your gathering here today. Don't let anything intimidate you. Never be ashamed for standing up for your country, for who you are and where you came from. Don't be divided by ideology, by religion, by the political spectrum. You're Australian and that's it. That's it. Thanks, guys. Well done, boy. I just want to say, uh, me and Rick want to say, we just shared it on Facebook, um, mate, but it's all you guys that got it out there. 100,000 views on each video, you guys are in it. You know what's going on. Um, and so it's, this is a community effort here, and we want to thank everyone for coming, especially Fraser Running come all the way from Queensland, uh, Senator Fraser. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's kind of there, kind of so it's a great turnout, guys. Uh, you wouldn't believe, I don't want to bore you, but you wouldn't believe the crap we had to go through on Facebook. 
We lost about six accounts for sharing news articles. Disabled, disabled, shut down. So social media, the hierarchy of the Victoria Police and the media are all working together to stifle political freedoms in Victoria. It's getting out of control. We're losing our voice. We're losing our voice every day. They're scared of social media, so now they're trying to police it. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen if you keep at it. Keep sharing. Tell your friends. Everyone here, never seen a lot of you here. It's, it's, it's great to see just regular Aussies come here. Regular Aussies. Not Nazis. I haven't seen one Nazi. Is there a Nazi out there? Oh, that Asian guy's a Nazi. <laughs> G'day everyone, that's me classic, how are you? I am so proud to be amongst you all today, absolutely rad, I can't believe how many of you actually come out today, even with Melbourne's weather as you would know, it's always going to rain, it's always going to be sunny, and to the, the people out there that have come down, take their time to stick it up this government scum, telling us what to do all the, all the damn time and trying to stop us out. Every time you have your speech, always, oh, don't talk about it. I want to talk about it. Why don't they want to talk about it? Because they're too scared of their feelings getting hurt. It's, it's, it's really come down to this. Sticks and stones. What happened to that? Have we all forgot about that? I didn't realise her feelings hurt now. I've been belted more times than you can think of by them because of my feelings. What about them? No, nah, we won't speak about that. But <laughs> I'm not allowed to have them because I love my country here, damn me. But I absolutely love that we've all come out today. A big congratulations to Blair. He's absolutely spectacular speech. Give him a round of applause, everyone. <laughs> Another round of applause for Neil, the Senator Sayer, over here, that organised the event today. He's taking the stop here. I would like you to get out there, start speaking on the job sites, because that's where it's going to start happening. Every time I speak about in the job sites, they don't want to hear it, because you know why? They want to go in their little tiny home, and they don't want to speak about it. They talk to their parents, they've had a gutful, but they're too old to come out here. Why are we sticking up for them? This is our country. Why are we being told we can't represent our own country, and to be a part of it, and put you, it's just a disgrace, and I've had, we've had a gutful of it. Enough's enough. I won't ramble on too much. Bit of heart. I'm glad to see so many people here. It makes me so proud to be Australian. Thank you for coming today. I'll just leave it with Neil and we'll finish it off. The Australians that are pissed off enough to the point that we're ready to do something about this. Yeah. Because I am so sick of hearing about these home invasions, kids being robbed. Mate, it never used to be like this before they came here. The only people that had their home invaded were drug dealers, fucking snitches, and pedophiles. That's it. <laughs> Not innocent people that went to work, come home, trying to go to sleep. If you weren't in that world, nothing happens here. That is why we're pissed off. It's not a racial thing. There's always been trouble here. But innocent people should be safe in their own fucking homes. Yes. Same as when they're driving their fucking cars. Yes. All that shit is foreign to this country. That enough is enough. If you really want peace in this country, pull your fucking heads in because I'm telling you, this time is coming where us Aussies have had enough and we're going to fucking do something about it. Yes. Yeah, for sure, man, you yourself. 
catch up soon. Tom Tran, brother. Hey, Matty gives a photo with the two, two brothers. Hey, Jay.